Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I had just a little bit of technical difficulty getting on here, so I'm glad that I came on just a tiny bit early. My camera wanted me to turn it the other way and oh good lord, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. We have had some strange weather today. It was cool this morning here in Wisconsin and overcast and then it got sunny and very warm and now it's overcast again. So I was in long pants and a sweater earlier today. Now I'm in shorts and a short sleeve shirt. So <laughs> we had a great day here today. We actually went to a baby shower. My daughter Haley, um, all of her, not all of her, but a lot of her classmates are now having babies. And so that's been really fun to see all the moms, the soccer moms that I haven't seen in a long time. And um, Haley had a, her friends were twins and one of them had a baby earlier this year and now the other one's gonna have a baby. So we got two baby showers with the twins this year and it was just so nice catching up with, like I said, soccer moms and kids from her class that I haven't seen in a long time. It was really good to see them. We took Val and Dawson and Valerie was just a little jewel the whole time until it was time to leave. And then she pitched a fit. <laughs> we broke the car seat. <laughs> It was just a whole thing. But um, five minutes later, she fell asleep. So <laughs> that explains the little temper tantrum. But yeah, um, so we had a really nice day today. And then I ran home really quick to get ready for tonight. I was getting ready before we left too. And um, yesterday, well, I should say uh, Thursday, we took off and went to my mom's house. And... Um, I used to go to the Clark County Fair. If you guys watched Bingo the other night, I told you all about that. I was uh, we I showed horses when I was um, a teenager, and we went to the Clark County Fair, and so it was really fun to go back to the Clark County Fair. That's where we went over to my mom's house, and um, we were a little disappointed in the fair food. It wasn't that great. Um, yeah, and we didn't even really have much to eat for supper. So we usually like wait to go there and have fair food. But yeah, it just wasn't wasn't that great. But we did watch the mutton bustin'. <laughs> Those little kids riding the sheep. Good lord. <laughs> they are hysterical. And that was fun. And I ran into a bunch of people that I went to high school with, which is always kind of cool. And um, I watched a tiny bit of the four-wheel drive pull. We didn't go to it because Dawson is too young. Haley couldn't find her headphones to cover the kids' ears because it's super, super loud. So we didn't even do that. But um, Val found a live band and was up there just a dancing away. So that, and the band, of course, was talking to her because she was the only one dancing. It was really cute. Let's see, what's my John report? Um, I don't really have a John report, but I did have his wife wave at me this week. She doesn't do that often. She kind of like turns the other way when she sees me. And again, I don't know if she's really shy or if she just doesn't like me. I can't even imagine that because <laughs> what's that to like about this, right? But no, seriously, I've never done anything that I know of that would make her not like me. But, um, I was out in the driveway and she was backing out of her driveway and our driveways are like this and she's backing out of her driveway and she looked this way and I happened to be right there and I waved at her and she kind of had to wave back. So that's my big John report, you guys. I haven't really seen John. I haven't been home much. Um, and when I am home, I am up here in my office and my window looks out the opposite side of our house. John lives over there. so. Nothing uh, nothing new from John, except that his wife waved at me, so that's kind of good news, right? <laughs> what else is happening? We are still in the middle of celebration. This is our second celebration, right? She has to be shy. I know, exactly. This is our second celebration of the year, you guys, and um, the uh, la, 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 tree lot dyes are out of stock. They're gone now. But I, I do have exciting news. I think I'm going to use the stamp set and these dies 
for um, my online class coming up here, like maybe in September, we'll see. But anyways, that's kind of what I've been planning. And then of course you guys know that the uh, pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes, those went out of stock right away. They were a really hot commodity. Everything else seems to still be available unless I missed something in the last day or so. But um, we also have more to celebrate. Woohoo! So we have from August 2nd until the end of the month, Stampin' Up! has added some items from the um, annual catalog and the holiday catalog, these Aspen tree dies, those are a free item with a $100 order. So you can see in yellow, all of these items are $50 orders in this in this paper over here. And then these, these items you can get with a $100 order. So that's really cool. I think that this dots and spots is gonna be very popular and I really love the bundle that goes with um, I love this whole bundle. There's a stamp set too. I know everybody's saying, how could she not like you? I don't know, but I'm sure there are people that don't like me. I mean, wouldn't you think? I don't know, I'm pretty likable, right? <laughs> Boy, is she full of herself. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there are people who don't like me, but that's okay. That's what makes the world go round is all the differences, right? We also have our Holiday mini catalog in full swing, you guys. Um, if you need these catalogs, please just pop me an email. My email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabub.com. Now, as much as I try to see all of your comments coming in here, please know that if a bunch of people type a comment at the same time, it goes right by and I don't see them. So, this is not the best place to leave me a question that you need answered about catalogs or ordering or um, anything like that. Questions here about what we're gonna do and somebody just said, John who? <laughs> um, those are good questions for here, but if you want to get a timely answer from me, the best thing to do is to email me. And my email address again is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at the at symbol, a stamp above.com and I always answer my emails. So if you would like catalogs, pop me an email with your address. I'd be happy to send you catalogs. Um, I do appreciate orders when I send out catalogs. Please know that, that postage is expensive and I am not a nonprofit business because <laughs> I got bills to pay. <laughs> so happy to send these to you. It's always better to have catalogs in your hand. I'm not even going to lie about that. Um, this brochure is also on my blog. That's at www.estampabub.com. So you can find this brochure or you can go right to my online store. The link for that is on my blog. It's in a whole bunch of different places. So it should be easy for you to find. But you can go there and they'll show you exactly what is available for celebration. So that's really fun too. All right, I thought I had my iPad going here but it likes to go to sleep a lot. I wanted to go to sleep a little bit earlier today, but I pushed through because I had too much stuff to do. <laughs> it's like, nope, you're not going to sleep today. But I did get home from my mom's house yesterday and took a nice nap, so. And then I was up till 3 a.m. Yeah, that's what happens. You sleep, you stay up later. And I kind of like that because I have my creative mojo going late at night. That's when I get the most done. And I'll tell you what I got done. I got all the cards done for my Christmas Scotty class. I got them all designed, all the videos shot. Um, I got a couple cards made for a blog hop that's going live tonight on my blog, www.estampabub.com. I have a blog hop with the um, uh, Stampers Dozen design team. I couldn't think of it. Sometimes words are hard. Stanford's Dozen design team. I have a blog hop going live at 9 p.m. Central Time. So I got those cards made, video shot. I had to wait until this morning to take a shower and look presentable so I could do my introduction. It's a whole thing. <laughs> um, so I got that done and, and it's all ready to roll. So at nine o'clock tonight, you're going to see a blog post come out for me. I hope you're subscribed to my blog. When you go to my blog, in the right-hand column is a place for you to subscribe. There's a search where you can search for stuff. 
with keywords and then under that is a subscription when you put your email address in there every time I add something new to my blog you will get an email and it's in your email you can open it up and look at it now I have to tell you some of the links in that blog post that comes in your email inbox some of the links they don't work in an email so usually I'll have a little thing that says if you don't see the blog list below click here to find it and when you click here that just takes you to my blog where you can scroll down and you'll see a, a blog hop list or a product list or whatever but sometimes sometimes like the videos they don't show up either sometimes in um, in uh, an email so just know that you can just click on the title of the blog post that's in your email it'll take you right over to my blog too now somebody just asked when does Haley go back to school she told me that next week she actually starts back to school and I can't even remember what the date was I'm thinking it's the 25th maybe she has to go to school and start getting things ready I am going to be leaving on the 23rd which is a Tuesday and I won't be back until Sunday so I probably won't be live on the 28th but that's not next weekend that's the weekend after I am headed to New Orleans we have a Stampin Up event it is the first one in three years um, where we're all gathering um, for a leadership conference and so I've never been to New Orleans I'm kind of excited about that because I love to travel new places so that should be a lot of fun and uh, I'll be meeting up with my besties Barb and Dina and I'm sure we will have some type of a Netflix marathon in our hotel room because that's what we seem to like to do <laughs> when we get together it has to be a comedy so we can laugh hysterically but um, yeah we'll, we'll see what happens anyhow let me um, let me find my live here so that I can see your comments coming in and let me do my little swipey thing boom I am golden all right, hang on. So I have prizes. Um, the last time I was on, it was a Facebook Live, not live, because I was gone. But I did pre-record something for you while I was camping. And um, I went to my YouTube account to grab the names for sharing and also for commenting to give away prizes tonight. So yay! Um, I've been always excited to do that. I love to give away prizes. Then, so just so you know, give me a thumbs up. There's a thumbs up on your screen someplace right now where you can click and give me a thumbs up. And I so appreciate that. Look at all those thumbs. I see all those little icons coming in. Thank you so much. Um, also, there's someplace on your screen right now where you can click on share. And I, I really, really appreciate you sharing this video. Just share it to your profile. You never know amongst your friends on Facebook who might be interested in watching my videos. And that helps me grow my business and that is so important to me. So thank you. So first of all, for commenting last time, make sure you're commenting this time. If you're new to me, just say hi Kelly or um, coming from uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, whatever you want to say but make sure you leave a comment so you can get entered in a drawing to win oh, fabulous prizes <laughs> oh thank you patty says have a wonderful trip to new orleans yeah it'll probably be hotter than you know what there <laughs> marcia i'm happy to see you on here thank you so much for sharing marcia had a birthday recently happy birthday marcia um first of all for commenting let's get back to the prizes like kelly stay on track focus I have a Knight of Navy ink pad. I love our ink pads. I am going to be sending this out to June Franco of Gardenia, Gardena, California. June, thank you so much for your comment. Last time I had a Facebook Live, not live, so you commented on YouTube. Thank you so much for that. This will be in the mail to you tomorrow. Now, I'll just keep going with prizes because I'm gonna get off on that squirrel track again we'll talk a little bit about what my week is going to look like. Next up, 
I have a Flowers for Every Season Memories and More card pack. These are fantastic for making cards. They're also great for scrapbooking. This is going to be going out to Noreen Harrell of Crofton, Maryland. Noreen, this is on its way to you tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for commenting. Again, I had comment. Um, there was commenting and share. I just put them all together for my YouTubers. And that's how you won this prize. Next up, for placing an order since I've been on, I drew names and Barbara Stone of Voorheesville, New York. Barbara. Perfect pomegranate. Oh my gosh. This is in our um, celebration. Is it celebration brochure, you guys? Is it coming this? It's for ordering, yes it is. It's for ordering, um, you get it as a free gift for ordering over $300 during, in an order. One order over $300. So if you have a party or you put in a really large order, you get this for free. And look at all those beautiful images. Oh my gosh, I love them. So, Barbara Stone of Voorheesville, New York. You're not only gonna get this fabulous stamp set, but I happen to have one of these pool party and soft seafoam cards and envelope packs that you're going to get too. So thank you so much for everybody that placed orders with me in the last week. That's how Barbara won this prize. I've got all my envelopes ready to go. Look at how pretty those are. <laughs> so I will set these over here. Hang on. I don't want to lose track of these. So what I usually do, and it's funny. But what I do is I set things in front of my door or right in my path where I'm going to walk. So that way when I get up, I'm like, oh yeah, I got to do that. So lots of times when I have people here, like Fred was just here recently. He finished up my upstairs. I will have an envelope laying in the doorway. And he will always come and pick it up and give it to me. <laughs> I always tell him every time, nope, I got that there for a reason. It's so I don't, so it doesn't get lost in here. And so that I don't forget to take it downstairs and put it in the mailbox. So that's, that's what I do. I have a medical bill sitting on the bottom of my stairs. And I am keeping it there so that it doesn't come up here and get slipped under something and I forget to pay it. So every time I go downstairs, when I come back upstairs, I'm like, oh yeah, I got to pay that. So why don't I just do it? Well... You know how you can get sucked down that rabbit hole so easily? That's what happens to me. So if I have like, I have to do this now, I can't be doing that. I'll get on my computer and then I'll, I'll see something beep and then I'll go look at that too. And then pretty soon you're just down the hole and you can't even find your way out. So it's just the way I operate. And it really does help me to do stuff like that so that I don't forget. You guys know my memory issues. So I don't forget or things don't get lost. That's how I do it. And what was I just going to tell you? Oh, this week. I'm so excited. So you know how I went to North Dakota on a girls trip with Anna and Andy, my granddaughter Andy, my stepdaughter Anna? Tomorrow morning, and I don't know what time because Anna hasn't gotten back to me yet. Tomorrow morning, Anna and her my stepdaughter Anna and Molly, who you guys all know, my granddaughter Molly, were headed out on a girls trip. And we are going to be heading up to um, the UP. And I'm not sure where we're going yet. Anna has plans, but we're gonna head up there for a couple days to have some girl time with Molly. And I think that's gonna be so fun. I can't wait to see what we're gonna do. So Steve just came upstairs a little while ago and he told me that he cleaned out my Explorer and he washed it and he filled it up with gas and he put some snacks in um, little to-go bags so that we have snacks tomorrow too and got the cooler ready. So <laughs> I was sitting up here going, gosh, my Explorer is so dirty. When I get done with my Facebook Live tonight, I'm going to have to go wash it because I like a clean vehicle, even if it's not clean on the inside. And then he comes up here and says he did all that. I'm like, oh, how spoiled am I, right? I know. Believe me, I do appreciate it. I know how lucky I am that he does that for me. But um, another little funny, last week I got in my Explorer and I'm driving someplace and my gas light goes off. And <laughs> this is what a brat I am. My immediate thought was, you are not taking very good care of me. 
<laughs> and you know, I only say that because he is retired. He doesn't work. So it's like, that's kind of his job now is to take care of me. <laughs> At least that's what he tells me and I've gotten kind of used to it. So he also told me he's going to start cooking again because he hasn't cooked for a long time. I've been doing all the cooking since before we went camping. Like I did all the cooking while we were camping, which is fine because I don't have 5 million other things to do while I'm at the camper like I do at home, you know? So I really kind of enjoyed it. Don't tell anybody though, because I really don't like to cook, but it was fun to make food for my family and they were very appreciative. All right, so I've jabbered on long enough. Um, I want to show you guys, ah, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna give you a quick flash. This is usually kept under wraps. Like I don't show my class cards for my kit, my monthly kit. I am using the Christmas Scotties bundle, the Scotty Punch and the stamp set. And one of the things that I love to do with a set like this, because it's all about, kind of all about Christmas, is I like to make it not about Christmas because I love to make sure that what I am investing my money in is versatile. And if I can make something that's meant for Christmas to do all kinds of other um, occasions, that makes me really happy. So I'd love to share that with you. So my kit class is the Christmas Scotties. And I had said when I talked about it before that I would have maybe one Christmas card, but the rest would be not Christmas so that you could get some ideas um, that make it more versatile. Okay, so usually I don't show these, but these are the cards I designed last night, and I'm pretty proud of them. I'm gonna give you a quick flash of them. And here is card number one. Yeah, cool, huh? Here is, oops, hang on, let me put this back together. Here's card number two, and it's got a little flap that keeps it together. Here is, wait for it, wait for it. Card number three. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? And then a Christmas card. All of those were not Christmas cards. Boom, Christmas card. So lots of fun things with this Christmas Scotty. I do, um, I will be sending these kits out later this week. I have them all designed, all the videos are made and I'm going to cut cardstock when I get back from Michigan. Those will be going out this week for those of you that have already ordered. Um, there are a couple ways. You can order the kit. The kit comes with a roll of the black and white gingham ribbon, a um, pack of the iridescent, uh, iridescent pearl basic jewels. These are really pretty. They're very iridescent-y. <laughs> a whole pack of mini dimensionals, eight of our very nice high quality envelopes, and also a pack of the perfectly penciled black and white designer series paper. Oh, I love black and white paper. Um, you can choose, now you get the kit with pre-cut cardstock to make eight cards. There's four different designs, you make two of each. So you'll have a really nice little stack of cards like this from this class. All the cardstock is pre-cut for you except the designer paper because that comes in your kit. And if you choose, you can add on the bundle. Now, this class, I'm looking at my little notes over here, this class with all of these goodies and the pre-cut card stock, um, videos for each card, so you have a video tutorial, pictures, and written instructions is $51. If you add on the bundle with the stamp set and the punch, it is $96, and both of those amounts include shipping and tax, so you don't have to worry about that. That's a final number. Okay, I'm just gonna, whoops, I'm gonna, set, whoops, hang on. I'm gonna set these over to the side so I have lots of room to make a big, big mess tonight. That's what we're gonna be doing. No, we're stamping and you know that's messy, right? Yeah. Okay, next up, the class that I'm doing with Dina and Barb this month is the Seasons of Chic. Season of Chic. This is so beautiful, you guys. There are 19 different dies in here, and the stamp set has 17 different stamps, beautiful sentiments with beautiful fonts. But we've got every season in here, okay? We've got the snowflakes, we've got the leaves, we've got seashells, we've got flowers. It's so pretty. Like, this 
sweet gives me goosebumps because it's so beautiful. Okay, so with the Season of Chic class, you can, oh, I forgot to mention my kit class, um, the, the, the Scotty class, you can order the kit. You can order the kit with the bundle or you can order the PDF file only. Um, with the uh, Season of Chic, this particular class, you can order option one, which includes the bundle, the designer paper, and this gorgeous, gorgeous distressed gold designer paper, okay? That's option number one. Also comes with in color opal rounds and a roll of our beautiful satin edge gold and vanilla ribbon with eight, nope, six different card designs. You get pre cut cardstock for all of them. Um, so this is option, this is all option one with the bundle, and that is $116 and that includes tax and shipping, okay? This gets shipped to you right away. If you order option number two, you need to have the designer series paper. You need to have this and you need to have that, um, the gold paper too. And a lot of you do, that's why we offer this option. Option number two comes with the pre-cut cardstock pack, the opal rounds, and also the vanilla ribbon. You can add on the designer paper and the gold paper for an additional $31, but the kit, option number two is $45. Whew, okay, that's a lot of information to cover, right? Woo. All right, who is ready to stamp? Me, are you guys ready? I think I'm ready. All right, let me set this stuff aside so I don't lose this. Oh, I gotta put this, hang on, I gotta put this back because otherwise this goes in somebody's kit and I don't wanna forget that I pulled that out of there. I'll just set that right there. Okay, we're good? We're good, okay. <laughs> How are you guys doing tonight? I talk all about me, me, me. Oh, it's all about me, me. How are you guys? Is everybody doing good? Can you believe that it is August 14th already? Like, how did this even happen? It's crazy. I don't know. I don't know where my summer's gone, but I need it to be a little bit longer. Uh, let's see. Dolly says, are kids part of SHA? Oh, Dolly, that's a great question. So if you belong to our Stamp Happy Academy website, it is a website. It is the best gift you could ever give yourself as a stamper. And if you would like details about that, just go to stamphappyacademy.ning.com and you'll find all the information about it. All of my online classes are on the Stamp Happy Academy website. When you subscribe, a basic membership is $19.95. That includes online classes. Um, we also have a live option that you can add on for a total of $34.95. And... Um, there are four online classes added every single month. Right now, Bonnie says, SHA, Stamp Happy Academy, is awesome. Right now, there are over 70 online classes on the Stamp Happy Academy website. And when you subscribe to it, it's a monthly subscription, you get access to all of those with a basic or a premium membership. So we also have live classes. That's what's part of the um, premium membership is Dina Barb and I each do a live class every single month. So, whoa, you get a lot of live. You get a lot of us. <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready to flip my camera around. I am going to change out my glasses because these, did I show you guys these? These are my new glasses. How crazy. I love these. But they're hard. They're still, I still have to go like that to read my things my comments. So I wanted to have like workspace. That's what Kathy called it. Workspace glasses where I don't have to, whoops, there goes my crown. I don't have to go like this. So you guys are looking at my nose to see my comments. So <laughs> was that more than you really needed to know? I'm, I'm thinking that it was. Hang on, my crown is crooked. Nobody needs a crooked crown. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to flip this camera around. Hang with me for just a second. Let me get this all in place. I don't, I don't use any fancy things that do this for me. So, hang on, I'll tell you when it's good, okay? Like 
this to be straight. Does that look straight? Nope, it looks crooked. Come on. I usually don't have this much trouble. It's really giving me a hard time tonight. Okay, we're gonna turn on some more lights. I thought I had all my lights on, but I did not. Ooh, there we go. Can you guys see okay? Is everything looking okay? All right. I think what I'm going to do first is... I think I'm going to do my technique card because this is super duper fun. So we are going to be using my favorite little celebration bundle. Hippest Hippos and the Hippo Dyes. Now, oh, look at those flower, that flower dyes back here. I was kind of looking for that earlier. I, thought, I was like, I thought there was a flower dye in here. Well, there is. Okay, so in here are 19 different dyes. This is part of our celebration promotion. And unless you um, haven't watched me or you live under a rock, just kidding, um, you know all about this. But our Hippest Hippos, you can get this stamp set free with a $50 order until the end of August. You can also get hippo dies with a $50 order free until the end of August or both of these are while supplies last. So can I just say that there are a gazillion different fun ideas using this bundle because we all of us stampers demonstrators all over the world have gone crazy for this little jewel. That's what I'm gonna be using for my technique card tonight. I'm also going to be using Smoky Slate Stampin' Blend alcohol markers. I've got the light and the dark and then the dark Highland Heather alcohol marker. I'm gonna bring in my stamps here. Memento ink. We're gonna be using the Stripes and Splatters 3D embossing folders. And here are the two different embossing folder images. And I've, I've actually got the paint splatters here is this one. And isn't that, oh, I just love it. And then we've got the stripes and this is the striped one. So you get both of these in a package when you purchase the stripes and splatters 3D embossing folders. We're gonna be using the splatters. So I'm gonna keep that one out. Then, we're going to bring in window sheets. And usually when I see window sheets, it's all about shaker cards, right? We're not making a shaker card. So window sheets, these come 12 by 12. You get two window sheets. They're very high quality. Two window sheets in 12 by 12. And I've already taken mine out. You can see I've got some cut pieces in here and cut them up to the size we need. Okie dokie. Now, I have a Technique Club. It's an online club, and each month people place a minimum order, and I think the order is, I don't know, $25 or $30, I can't remember. But you place an order online, you tell me you wanna be in my Technique Club, and when you do that every month for six months, you get a $30 credit at the end of your six months when you turn in your rewards sheet. So you can order anything you'd like with that $30. Now. Each month, I send you a card made with the technique and also an instruction sheet with a sample of that technique on it. So you can take these and you can accumulate a whole bunch of techniques and you can put a three, you know, put a ring in them to keep them together. You could just put them inside some type of a little case, but you can pull these out when you need some type of idea or you wanna stamp and go, oh, I'd like to do a technique today. So this is what we're gonna make today. This is going to be my Technique Club card for all of the August orders. These cards with the instruction sheet go out to my Technique Club members around the first week in September. So just know that when you place an order in August, the first week in September, that's when all the cards go out for August Club members and so on and so forth. So it's always kind of a month delayed because I have to wait and make sure everybody's put their orders in and then I run a report and find all the club people and then they get these. So that's how the online club works. It's pretty simple. And I know the people that are in it really, really like it. So, okay, we have Blushing Bride. This is four and a quarter by 11. I've scored it at five and a half. 
And for this online technique club, if you go to my blog, www.astampabove.com, you will see in the right-hand column is an online technique club. Click on that and it'll take you to all the information. All you need to do is email me and say, Kelly, I want to be in your club. I will send you all the details so that you know exactly what to do. You have to keep your rewards form and you have to record your orders each month. And then when you're done at six months with that, you can submit that to me for your reward. Now, if you skip a month, you start over. And if you want to go more than six months, once you've hit your six month, you just start over with month one and go six again and you can get more. So it's a pretty sweet little deal. All right, I have an envelope. I've got a piece of Highland Heather. This is four by five and a quarter. I've got a white layer for the inside that is also four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a little bit smaller white layer here. And this is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. We've got a three by three window sheet. Those are kind of hard to see because they're clear. I lose them on my desk all the time when I'm using them, so just know that. Um, if you do the three-month paper pumpkin, can you still get celebration? Uh, Mickey, that is a really good question. If you subscribe for a three-month period to a paper pumpkin, that means buy a pre, uh, what do they call it? Um, 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 yes, when you buy a three-month prepaid, that's what it is, prepaid paper pumpkin subscription, you do get a celebration item. You get to choose an item. So you can go right into the online store and do that. Um, and you'll get to choose a celebration item. So that's a good question. Okay, I've also got Smoky Slate and Real Red Scraps here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I am going to stamp up my inside. I'm gonna bring my, this is my piercing mat. I wrap this with printer weight paper and I tape it on with scotch tape, and this is what I like to use as my stamping surface. Now I have two different white pieces here. I wanna make sure I'm grabbing the biggest one because that's the one for the inside. So I'm gonna get my Memento ink ready, and I'm going to stamp Love You a Ton. And this is gonna be my little inside layer. And I'm going to grab the smaller white layer we are going to emboss that. And how I emboss it is I put it in here just like this. I'm gonna leave a little bit of that white sticking out the top and I'm gonna run this through my embossing machine. At the same time, I'm going to stamp my little hippopotamus. And did you guys see where they're using, we're making cows of these hippopotamuses? Yeah, I'll show you I'll show you a sample that I did a couple weeks ago with that. Okay, so we've got that and that. And now I'm going to get my dies out. Now remember, there are 17, so it's 19 different dies in here. Okay, 19 different dies. So we've got doo -doo -doo, where's some, here's my little hippo. Oops, let's put it cutting blades down. How about that? Here's my little hippo. And we're gonna tape that in place. I'm also going to grab these little hearts. There's three little hearts that come in this set. We're gonna die cut that. And we're going to emboss this. I like to line it up with the line that Stampin' Up! gives us right down here. And again, a little bit sticking out the top. So we're gonna get all of those done. And of course, through the magic of TV, here comes everything. Okay, let me put my dies away so I do not lose them. Nobody wants to hear me cry, right? <laughs> and here goes my Stripes and Splatters 3D embossing folders. Okay, is that not the cutest little hippopotamus? Now, if you want to, you can stamp this on white and you can color it all in, but 
This shows you that you don't have to if you don't want to because this looks just as cute stamped on gray. Well, maybe not just as cute, but it's definitely doable, right? It's still pretty cute. Now we're gonna take this piece and I'm gonna grab one of these little, little hearts. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of glue, just a tiny, tiny little bit. I'm gonna grab my take your pick tool. How many of you use this thing like I do? Like it's almost an extension of my stamping arm anytime I'm stamping. Like I am all over the take your pick tool. It's like my best friend. All right, we've got this. We can put this on the inside of our blushing bride. Yeah, I use my take your pick. You'll see me pick the backs off of um, dimensionals. You'll see me pick up little pieces like this, little die cut pieces to put in place. You'll see me use it with the die brush end. I like to do that too. Okay, we're going to take this piece. Oh, we need to do a little bit of stamping on this. I'm going to do that before I do any more work. Because if I mess that up, I don't want to have to start all over after I've done a bunch of work. It says, ah, oh, you really are the best. And that turned out really good. So, whew. Okay. Um, this piece is going to get glued to our Highland Heather layer. And I need to tell you that there will be free downloads for the cards we're making tonight on my blog. So blog address right here. You can download these project sheets, you can print them out, you can save them to your devices so that you have all the dimensions, all the colors, all the ingredients that I use at your fingertips when you want to make this card or a similar card. This is my current host code, you guys. And when you place an order with me, if your order is under $150, please use this code. This is how I give away the door prizes and free stuff that I do. If your order is over $150, don't use this code you're gonna get rewards from Stampin' Up. So if you have an order that's like $148, gosh, put some glue on there, put some dimensionals on there, push it over 150 before tax and shipping. You're gonna get $15 in free product, anything you want. You can choose anything you want. You can go over the 15, you can apply it to a $20 stamp set or a $50 stamp set, but you get rewards when your order is over $150. So I just wanna make sure people know that. I cringe when I see orders come in just under $150 because just a bottle of glue, pack of dimensionals, you could have gotten $15 free. Okay. Oh, I got my strawberry lemonade tonight. What are you guys drinking? I want to hear all about it. You guys know that I'm like a creature of habit. <laughs> strawberry lemonade it is. Here comes our layer on the front. And don't you just love the paint splatters? I just think that's such an interesting texture on a card. Now, we're gonna set this little guy and our big heart off to the side. Well, actually, we can put some dimensionals on it. So let's do that. I'm gonna grab my mini dimensionals. I told you with that Scotty kit, everybody gets a whole pack of these dimensionals. So that's kind of nice. Just a little added product there. I'm gonna set those off to the side and now we're gonna do our technique. So I have this three by three window sheet. <clears throat> oh, lime bubbly. Is that what it is? Lime bubbly, lots of water. We got some seven up. Barbara's drinking water. Merlot spritzer, you go Deb. <laughs> I don't drink water, isn't that funny? Water sucks the joy out of my life. It's my, that's what I say. That's what I'm sticking to. I hate it. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a couple different things here. This is a floating strip technique and these are all quarter inch little strips, okay? All cut a quarter inch. And what I have here is um, petal pink. Nope, I'm sorry. Petal pink, what color is that one? I think that is so saffron. Petal pink, soft sea foam, pool party, blushing bride, Highland Heather. 
and I got all the colors there. Okay, these are all quarter inch. Now, to do the technique that I'm doing today, I was like, should I do quarter inch or should I do something a little bit bigger? So I decided to go with a little bit bigger. And these are 3 8 inch strips. So I'm just going to grab my little strips here. These are 3 inches long by 3 8 inch wide. And you can make these any size you want. Now, one thing I want to tell you about window sheets is you want to keep your glue neat and tidy. And I am just using liquid glue and I'm going to set my little strip down here right at the very edge of my window sheet. Next, I'm going to grab a soft sea foam. Let me get that little hair out of there because that's kind of gross. <laughs> I don't know. I always have so much hair floating around and I can't even say it's my dog because I don't have one. <laughs> it's just me. Okay, we do have cats though, and they're kind of messy. They make me a little crazy. Okay, there's my soft sea foam. Now I'm going to go with my so saffron. And you may want to dry fit this to see how this is all going to end up. But if you end up at the bottom and you need to cut one of these off, that's fine too. Don't get too bent out of shape about things like that. So next we're going to have um a petal pink and then a blushing bride and then a highland heather and we're gonna go with another we're gonna start over then okay so you can see that i really don't have enough room here but if i keep these closer together everything is gonna fit so i'm gonna keep going I'm gonna do the bottom one so that I can then make these fit in here. And I just, that just was an easier way for me to do it. You can do this however you want, it's your card. But that's how I did it. And then I'm gonna go with this next one from the bottom up. When I made my first one, I ended up down at the bottom with too much space. So then I thought, oh, I have to figure out a way to go back and forth, back and forth, right? Oh, that one's crooked. Ugh. And, and using liquid glue gives you a little bit of wiggle room, right? So if you get these on here in a reasonable amount of time, you can make them move around a little bit so that they fit good. There we go. And I'm gonna get this last one on here really quick. Oh, look at, oh gosh, I am a professional. You guys know that, right? <laughs> just joking but seriously that's pretty awesome <clears throat> okay so I needed two of one color so two of the pool party now what we're going to do with this is we're going to turn it over and we're going to put some dimensionals on it and of course our mini dimensionals are going to be perfect for this now our window sheets are really good and sturdy meaning they're high quality so you're going to really like these if you've never ordered them they are called window sheets, and you can go into the online store and do a search for them and find them easily. I'm gonna bring our card back over here. Here comes that take your pick tool to pop all of the backings off of these. I find that with acrylic nails, it's hard to get those backings off. So this has been a really good tool for me. I'm gonna take this and center it right in my splatters embossed area. That is a floating strip technique. I've seen other people call it floating element, but I think floating strip because you're using strips is um, pretty cool. Now, the other thing that I was gonna do and I forgot is, let me grab this. These are our stylish shapes dies. You could take this now and you could die cut it so you would have a circle and that's really cool looking too, you guys. You could use the squares, you could use a banner, you could do whatever you want here, but you can die cut these. Um, you can just make a match up with a square or a rectangle. I don't think our punches will actually work with them, but you know what? Let's try. I don't wanna give you bad information, but I think I tried this once before and it was not very successful. So let me get out a little piece here. And where did that dog punch go? Here it is. Here's our Scotty dog. Let's see if that works on here. Maybe it does. It's really 
really hard. So if you have good strength in your hand, you will be able to punch that out. But I don't think you'll be able to punch it with the cardstock layered on it. I just don't, I don't think it's going to work. But your dies will cut through it like butter. So just know that. That's pretty cool, right? Okay, so die cut it. You can um, just do like I did here. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in our little hippo. Looking for my take your pick tool again. Is Molly Jo watching tonight? Molly Jo was over, she was here this weekend and <laughs> she was making some really cute stuff for Valerie. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right here to hold my hippo in place, but I've got two dimensionals on the bottom down here. Val was making these little boxes, Val, or um, Molly was making little boxes for Valerie. Molly, I went over on your side of my desk and there is so much paper on the floor, I'm wondering where you thought you were. <laughs> so next time you come over, you need to clean that up. <laughs> Molly watches, watches my lives a lot. So she's probably, if she's on here, she's cringing right now going, oh my good Lord, she's yelling at me. <laughs> That's as yelly as I tend to get. Okay, now, is this not the cutest little thing? And you can see the window sheet in between. You could leave a bigger gap in between these if you wanted to. You could use designer series paper. That's also beautiful. Um, sky's kind of the limit here, but is that not just the cutest thing? I love this. Now, I wanted a little bit of embellishments on here. So I'm going to bring in my dark Highland Heather and I'm going to color some rhinestones. I got a small one, a medium one, and a large one. And I'm just going to add a few rhinestones around on my card. Oops. And just put one right here and right here. And maybe another one right down there. Look at how cute that is, you guys. Is that not just the sweetest? Love you a ton. It says, ah, you really are the best. Love you a ton. Now, what about this? So I said that these are the bigger 3 8 inch strips. But I also took a 3 by 3 and I cut this in half. I did the quarter inch strips. So that's what the quarter inch strips look like. So you can see the difference here. And you can choose what you want to do. Maybe you want to do half inch strips. It's completely up to you. So let's see. What did Sandra just say? She says, is this live 814? If so, I didn't get notice you were going to be on and I just found now. Yeah, I don't know why you're not getting notices, Sandra. Um, I'm not sure what's happening there. I know Facebook has been changing a lot of things and they have been making me a little crazy as well as others. I had one of my friends that just got banned from Facebook and they said that she shared child pornography, which she would never do. And that was great. And I hope I don't get in trouble for saying those words. I probably will. I shouldn't say things. But anyways, it's been doing a lot of strange things lately. So I don't know what to tell you. I have a love-hate relationship with Facebook. Um, I love that I can play with you guys <laughs> on Sunday nights, right? But I don't like all the control that they try to, that they have. Like, it's their platform, and we have to do what they say. I don't like that. Anyways, let's get off that. And Sandra, um... If you're not getting notifications that I'm live, you need to just set an alarm on your phone. I'm live at 7 p.m. Central Time on Sunday evenings. And just set an alarm. Tell your phone to tell you, to alert you when it's 7 p.m. Central Time on Sunday night and you come onto my business page and it's just a stamp above dash your creative coach is the name of my business page and you'll find me. Now look at this. This is what my Technique Club members are going to get for their August project. So these will be going out in the mail at the beginning of September. And you can see that I have some brief written instructions here. It says cut strips of cardstock or designer series paper. They can be quarter inch, three eighths, or half inch or larger, whatever you want. 
Add strips to a window sheet with liquid glue. You can leave as a square rectangle or die cut it with a circle or other shape die. Add strip panel to card front with dimensionals to create the floating element. And it even says on 814, there's a video at www.astampabum.com. Boom, isn't that cute? Now, I also have this envelope and I am going to grab a scrap of paper because you guys know I like to decorate my envelopes. I don't always have the time to do that, but when I do, I do. And this, this little piece right here, let's see, where did that go? I've got this one. I can put this on here too. Oh, I'll do that later. Here's just gonna be another one. So I print out a whole bunch of those. Doo -doo -doo. Here comes the little hippo in the tutu. Now I put a piece of printer weight paper in here because I'm gonna color this with Stampin' Blend markers and it will bleed through to the other side and that's not attractive, right? It's pretty ugly. So I am going to put that paper in there to keep it from bleeding through. So you wanna make sure when you're coloring the hippos that you stay away from the eyes so those eyes are bright white because it really does make them pop, stand out. And I am using um, Smoky Slate, light and dark. And then I'm gonna use the Highland Heather. So this is the dark. And then I'm gonna use the light. You could do a bunch of shading here if you wanted to, but since it's just an envelope, I didn't wanna to get too persnickety with it. But you certainly could. And that's the belly. Don't do that in dark. We're gonna do the legs in dark. At least this is the way I did mine. Did you guys have supper yet? Who had supper? I did not. I went downstairs, oh, I forgot a piece. I went downstairs and Steve was eating an egg salad sandwich with bacon. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. He gave me one bite. And I told him when I came down, I'm like, I'm hungry. He's like, well, eat. I'm like, I don't have time to eat. I'll eat when I'm done. Okay, this is the lighter one. You could, you know what? You could do the little toenails, the little toes. You could do those with purple too, like she painted them. That would be super cute. I just thought of that. And here comes the light muzzle. And then I'll get the bigger end out. Okay, then we've got dark highland heather i'm going to do the little feet or the little ballet shoes i guess Haley had um val in gymnastics class for two-year-olds super cute and now she needs to sign her up for something else and she's like what are we gonna do she's they have dance class and i'm like oh she's too young for that she goes but it's for two-year-olds i'm like oh well maybe <laughs> that would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? Look at how cute that is, you guys. Good grief. Here we go. Super duper cute. So you can color your hippos. You can just stamp them on colored cardstock and die cut them. Super cute. There is our first project of the night. So let me get a bin so I can get this put away or out of the way so we can have some more fun. I think I might need that again. I know I'll need that. I can't need this or this or this or this. Okay. And I'm gonna keep these because I have a whole bunch of these to make, right? Uh, yes, I do. Oops, they're falling out. I threw them right through the handle, which was typical, typical Kelly fashion there. Okay, next up. 
Oh, I have a whole bunch of mail to show you guys too. Okay, now, next card, I am going, I promised that I would share with you another elephant card. This was my elephant parade card from Bingo last week, Wednesday. If you guys missed that, that is a live class that was on YouTube. And we made um, this cute little elephant card. And I promised I would make another elephant card with the elephant parade for tonight. And we are going to do that. Oh yeah, I needed that. This is where I needed those grays. <laughs> Okay. I've also got um, solid faceted gems. We'll be using those. The elephant, these are the elephant dies. There are 16 different dies in here and the little peanut, they made me die cut the little peanut. It is stinking adorable. And then we've got the stamp set that has 13 different um, images in it. And this is the elephant parade bundle. So super cute little bundle. I am going to get out Hang on, I did all my little bits and, oh, I just lost a piece of my bits. Get those all out. Here comes another one. Okay, here comes our cardstock layers. We are going to do a little blending technique, which is kind of neat. Did I show you the inside here? This uses the vellum, those vellum, um, printed vellum sheets that are in the annual catalog. They're pretty cool, but isn't that cute? And the rings of love. No, <laughs> I always say it wrong every single time. It is rings of love. I was thinking rings of nature. Rings of love designer series paper. So that's why this is coming in. And I thought, well, the card that we're going to make right now, this might be okay for the envelope flap. So we'll see what you think. All right. We have Smoky Slate. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And hang on, I'm going to, there we go. My comments aren't going through here. Oh, Diane says she just got, just got hers in time. Good for you. Charlene says she watched Bingo recently on Stamp Happy Academy, and I have to tell you, that's the first time we've done Bingo on there. Barb, Dina, and I each made a card, and we played some Bingo, and we gave away tons of prizes. It was super-duper fun. That was a special event in July. Okay, so we've got four by five and a quarter. This is our inside layer, and then we have a four by five and a quarter balmy blue layer and a two and a half by five and a quarter pear pizzazz layer. Then we've got pear pizzazz scrap and basic white scrap. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this inside layer and we are going to, oh, I missed, I missed um, getting out my sentiment. Let's see. What a happy day. Okay. We're going to do what a happy day. I'm going to get that on a block. There we go. And I need the little mouse. Gosh, I blew it, didn't I? <laughs> Here comes our little mouse. Yay. And our memento black ink. So I'm going to, oh, you know what I think I'm going to do first before I put the black on here? I'm going to do a little blending. We're going to put a little bit of, hmm, do I want to use yellow? Maybe a little bit of yellow. Let me grab, where's my so saffron? Uh, there it is, so saffron. I'm going to grab a little bit of this and a blending brush, okay? And you're going to get that, get some ink on there, and we're going to, Rub a lot of that ink off before we go to our cardstock. I'm just going to put a little bit down in here. That looks good. It's just going to add a little bit of color. 
get rid of that yellow. This was so saffron. Then we can do our stamping. So we're gonna take the little mouse and we're gonna stamp that right over here. Look how cute it is. And then what a happy day. And we're gonna stamp that right by our little, hang on, I'm gonna stand up a little bit. Not a little bit, I'm just gonna stand up. Get that, okay. And then we'll do a little bit more to this in a second. Now we're gonna take our blue and our green. And our blue, we're gonna use a little bit of balmy blue. And we're just going to add some color on here so that it looks like a sky. I don't want it to just be so stark. So I am making little marks, like this isn't supposed to be smooth on here. This gives it kind of a little sky look and I like that. And then we're going to take our pear pizzazz and I'm gonna use that same brush I used with the yellow. We're gonna bring in our pear pizzazz layer. And we're going to just add some color to this too so that it doesn't look just so plain green. So plain pear pizzazz. <laughs> okay, that looks great. Now, I don't know what you guys do with these, but what I do with these is I take them and I wash them out. Let me grab a couple other ones that I have. I know a lot of you have holders that you stick them in and all kinds of things, but I don't. These have been washed. You can see that they're pretty cleaned out. They're just stained from um, the colors, but I will take these and I will run them under my sink and I'll just keep going like this, running the water over them until the water runs clear and then I set them on the sink to dry. So that's how I deal with my stamping blend or my um, blending brushes. Okay, so now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a controlled tear and I'm going to take this and I am going to tear it, and I'm holding both thumbs here so I can keep control over it. And we're going to add this and this to the front of our balmy blue. Okay, so we're gonna do this and this. I wanna make sure that I get this in place, okay. So here comes a little bit of glue there. And we wanna cover up this blue layer, however you wanna do that. And I'm kinda of doing this it's kinda of probably dumb, a dumb way, but <laughs> it's gonna work out. I'm kinda of holding it in place while I throw some glue on here. That looks good, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> and then we're gonna put some glue on the back of this layer. And we're gonna cover this up just like that. And there we have grass. So isn't that kind of neat looking? It's not just stark blue or stark green. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to bring in our dyes. And these little elephant dyes are so stinking adorable. I'm gonna bring out a peanut. We're not using the peanuts, but I want I want you to see the peanuts. Look at how cute they are. <laughs> they just make me giggle. Okay. Here comes our grass. So we're going to take our scrap of pear pizzazz and we're going to die cut some grass. And we need four sprigs of grass. So we got one, two. You'll do two and then two more. And we'll die cut those. And I do have those done. So here's four sprigs of grass. And then we need our little elephants. Where's our white layer? Right here. Here comes our white layer. Set that aside. Here comes our little elephants. And I've got elephant number one. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. They're so adorable. Elephant number two. Elephant number three. I think that's my favorite one. 
It reminds me of the elephant in the Jungle Book, the Disney movie. Yeah. And here comes a couple little butterflies. And we have our words. So I'm going to stamp my... Oh, I'm going to add a little bit of blue. Hang on. I'm going to take that blue and I'm just going to come in here and add a little bit of blue to this layer right there. Then I'm going to stamp my sweet little one and we're going to actually cut this out. Oh, that didn't turn out very good. Hang on. My E didn't stamp good. Just getting a little bit more blue on here. Let's try this again. I'm gonna stamp it here. Yep, it was totally on my air. There we go, perfect. Okay. Done. Oh, you know what? I'm thinking that we probably need a little elephant on. Look at my watch just trying to seal my dyes. Yeah. I went for a bike ride one day, and when I got home, I had my earrings stuck here, so it was on there the entire time from my get ready room. I call it my dressing room. That sounds really fancy, but it's just a room. Um, it stuck to my arm the whole time I was out for my bike ride. It was crazy. Okay, so I was thinking we can stamp a little elephant on here, and which one do we want? We want the cutest one that I love. And when you make your card, you can choose the cutest one you love. <laughs> okay. Um, we have a little coloring to do. So first of all, we're going to take this and I am going to cut it. You can put this in your paper trimmer if you want and cut it that way. I'm just going to use my snips. And we're just going to... Yep, that looks pretty darn good, right? Hmm. Did you guys know I used to sew? So I'm, I'm used to cutting very, very straight lines. <laughs> I used to be a sewer. I sewed all my clothes. I loved making clothes. Now I don't even know if it's worth it because material is so expensive. Okay, so we're going to die cut all of these, okay, with our various dies here. So we've got this cutie patootie. We've got this one and this one. And then we've got the butterflies. Mm. You get two butterfly dies in here too, by the way. So you can die cut both of these at the same time. That's pretty cool. Die cut these in your die cutting machine. And here they come. Da -da -da -da. Now, if you don't like to color things, you could have stamped your elephants on gray cardstock, light gray cardstock. That would work just fine. I am going to take my sew saffron and I'm going to color my butterflies. And it's probably easier to cut these before you die cut them. However, <laughs> if you've ever then had the die cut move, the die move on you, it's kind of a bummer because you did all this coloring work and now it's all jacked up, right? Yeah. I'm gonna use the um, 30 Flamingo, or uh, I'm sorry, the Rich Razzleberry, and this is the light to do my little polka dots on my butterflies. Okay, then here comes our petal pink, and this is gonna go in the ears of all of our little guys. And this is the dark, right? Dark petal pink, yep. And this is like the cutest little color for all these little elephant ears. Okay. Oh, let's do this one too. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna come in with my dark, smoky slate. And my light. I was gonna get these all colored today for you so that you didn't have to sit here and watch me, but I didn't. I tried hard. <laughs> Time just got away from me. Maybe if I hadn't gone downstairs and had that bite of Steve's sandwich. But in my defense, I did have to refill my drink and go to the bathroom, so we're not dealing with that little problem. <laughs> You wanna keep blending until that dark is blended into the light so that it doesn't look like a child colored it. Cause that's the last thing we want is our elephant to look like a little kid colored it, right? <gasps> look at how cute it is. Okay, and then we're gonna take this off of here. Yeah, you can see that it bled through, right? So that's why we put that paper in there. Okay, so there's our cute little envelope. And then I'm gonna come in here and do a little bit of shading here. How about we do dark on the ears? So let's see, what else can I tell you while I am doing all of this? Jared has been working diligently. They're trying to paint their, they're not trying to, they're painting their kitchen cupboards. And so he's been working so hard on that and he thought he was all done painting. And he brought in all the cupboard doors and drawers and was missing three of them. And then he found out that there were three laying on the floor in the garage covered up by like, I don't know, a drop cloth or some plastic or something. <laughs> So what a bummer, right? To think, oh, I finally got this done. I can install these drawers back on here and we can have our kitchen. And then to find out that you have to get all the stuff out again and go back at the painting. Ugh. Haley says he's a really good painter. Like he has a lot of patience. And I'm like, yep, I could totally see that because he is married to my daughter and he has like so much patience. I hope she's watching because she's going to be like, oh, I can't believe you said that. Well, you know it's true. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, yeah, their, their, their kitchen is going to be so pretty. They got a lot, a lot of cool ideas. They want to put a, what do they call that, backsplash behind their kitchen sink in the kitchen. And it's going to be white with, like, flecks of gold in it. Haley really loves gold and she does a lot of decorating with gold. Like she'll have a, a wood shelf but the metal on it is gold. She does a lot of that so that should be. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see once they get this house decorated because she really should have been an interior decorator. She is she just has such good taste. I don't know where she got it from. I mean, I'm not terrible, but that's not my talent. Like I keep telling her, you need to come over and help me get my stuff decorated. Like my office still, there's hardly anything decorating it. My guest room is done now, but there's nothing hanging on the walls because I don't know what to do. And I don't want to put a bunch of holes in the wall. <laughs> And then not like it. Oh, and I was going to show you guys my doors. Oh, crud. I just colored over the little eyeball. I didn't mean to do that, you guys. Pick that up with your... I can get a little bit of color out of there with your... Um, this is a color lifter. So don't color over your eyeballs. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys all of my doors up here. Like, everything's done now except for my shower door, which needs a new sealy thing on it. But um, all my doors are painted white. My floor transitions are installed. I have a new ceiling fan. My window in the hallway is cleaned up and painted white. He touched up some things. Yeah, my whole upstairs is done now. 
Now I gotta figure out what I want Fred to do next. And I just really don't even know if we're done now or what's gonna happen. Oh my God, look how cute they are. Oh. Now, I am going to take my color lifter and on this little guy, I thought I would just lift some color right off of his little trunk. And you guys probably aren't gonna see this, but I can see it. And it's just gonna kind of lift the color off. <laughs> it's super cute. Okay, let me hold this up really close. See if you can see this. Can you see? Isn't that stinking adorable? Those are the kind of fun things that you can do with the blends. Okay. Um, let's see. We've got, you know what? As long as we have the gray out here, let's just go ahead and do our cute little mouse. Mice are gray too, right? Other little ear. Then I'll get my dark peach or petal pink, I guess. I always call it peach. And where's my light gray? Who sees it? Who sees it? Here it is. Do our little mouse. I did his face in light gray and the rest of him in dark. Smoky slate. There we go. Super cute. Okay, now we're going to take all of those little grasses. And we're, don't I have, I think I have, there it is. Okay, we're gonna put one, I'm just adding a little bit of glue to the back here. And we're gonna put this right down here. <laughs> like hiding behind the grass. There we go. And then we're gonna take our little elephants. I'm gonna get out some big dimensionals. Boom, bitty boom. Sometimes I'm really in a mood to color and sometimes I'm not. Usually on a Facebook Live or a live video, is not really when I'm in the mood to color, not that I hate it or anything, but it's like I feel rushed, you know, because I don't want anybody falling asleep, going, oh, this is so boring. <laughs> but I really, sometimes I really do like to color and I could just take and stamp up a whole bunch of these and go sit in front of the TV. And like Molly wanted me to watch Stranger Things with her and I lasted about three and a half minutes and I fell asleep. But if I was sitting there coloring these little elephants, I wouldn't be falling asleep now then, would I? Oh. Okay, here we go. We're ready. We're ready for assembly. Let me get all of these ready to go. Now don't let your stuff stick to anything because then you won't be able to find it, right? So we're gonna take, I'm gonna take this little elephant and I'm gonna put it right over here. Look at how cute that is, you guys. <laughs> and I'm gonna take this little elephant and put it right over here. And this little guy is gonna go right here in the middle. We have a butterfly right here. How about, let me get these off of here. We're gonna put this right up here. Let me make sure I got that straight. This looks a little crooked. There we go. And put that right over here. And now the grass. This is what's gonna really like tie everything. It's gonna look super cute with the grass on it. Here comes the grass. I'm gonna put that right in here. We'll take another one. Put that right down here. <laughs> and don't you like the way the grass is lighter because this was blended with the blending brush and now the grass really kind of sticks out. So that's another way. If you don't have a lot of colors in your um, ink pads, this is a great way that you can make different colors. 
you know, we made this darker and now we have lighter. So that's really cool. Okay, where's my, here's my inside. Oh, here's my card. I'm like, where'd my card go? We're gonna put this on. I used my bunny baby card today for the shower that we went to and I was just so excited to give it to her. And when the, when the, um, expectant mother opened it she's like she saw the card was homemade and she says to her mom who's one of my customers and good friends she said um is this from you and she goes nope and she goes well who else makes homemade cards and julie the mom goes um hello kelly's here she's like oh yeah it was kind of cute she's like kelly do you believe she said that it was really sweet i'm like ah uh, no hello kelly's in the house Oh my gosh here we go these are the um solid faceted gems and i'm going to use these blue ones down here and these are so pretty you guys if you haven't gotten these yet they really are faceted i hope you can see that in the light because they're just so pretty and i'm gonna go boom and one more here and i use one big one and two little ones I'm just gonna do that. And that gives us just that tiny bit of bling. Look at how stinking adorable this card is. Here's our cute little mouse hiding in the weeds. Yeah. So I promised another elephant parade card. This is the one that we made the other day with the bingo class. And then here is the floating strip technique. I would love to see what you guys do with this because I think this is so very unique. I would love to see what you make with these. That would be a lot of fun. Um, I'm just looking through, looking through um, my comments here. Thank you guys so much. I so appreciate it. Please make sure that you give me a thumbs up. That helps me and also that you are sharing this video. You can click on that share button. And you guys know that I always appreciate your orders. That's what keeps me in business. This is my current host code if your order's under $150. Now is the best time to join. Now is the best time to stock up on supplies to get free stuff, all free, all free. And when you join my team, you get this gorgeous planner absolutely free. So um, joining is only $99. You get to choose $125 in any product that you would like, as long as there's a price with it. You can't add free celebration items to a kit because there's no price involved. By the way, you guys, as long as I have you here, if you want, um, if you're online ordering, you're going to be fine because these pictures come up and you can choose them. But if you're actually entering order codes, you must use the codes that are on this flyer, which are different than the codes in the other catalogs where these items are initially listed. Okay, I just want you to know that. Anyways, join my team. You will never regret it. There are no strings attached. You can be do it just for the discount or you can do it to uh, build yourself a business. But I'm telling you, it is the funnest thing ever to be part of something bigger, especially with a hobby that you absolutely love. You are going to love my team. They're the best. We have a whole community. There's a whole other world that you guys never get to see if you don't belong to my team. And it is just the best. So, $99 gets you $125 in any product you want. You'll get this free um, planner with the stamp set. It's fantastic. And you get to be on my team and get a 20% discount on everything you order in the future. So boom, it's a win-win. All right, mail. It's mail call. Oh, I know I was going to show you some other cards, wasn't I? Hello, Kelly. Here's another super cute little elephant card that I got. This is just adorable. And this is from Betty Clark. And she sent this to me for my birthday. So look how stinking adorable that is. It uses the balloon, the leaves that are in there. And this is a fun, fun, fun fold, right? Ha! Ah, I saved that so I could share that, Betty. So I hope I made you proud. <laughs> 
Then here's where we took the little hippos and turned them into a cow by using a black marker and giving them some little cow marks. Yeah, super duper cute, right? I love this one. So, okay, um, mail, mail call. Let's do it. We're gonna we're gonna share my beautiful. Oh, you know what? I oh I did my. I was gonna use this paper on my envelope, but I was really kind of unsure about it. Like if this would be okay on the flap, and I just don't think it's gonna cut it. It doesn't. It's not matchy matchy enough for me. So I decided against that. And we stamped a little, a little, um, little guy. Okay. Oh my gosh. I have to apologize. I have four cards sitting on top here and I thought I opened, I always open my mail and I read it and then I stack it back in my envelope so that I can get it out. Like this is what I, this is what I do. I put it back in here like this. So I have four here that I didn't open yet and I didn't know that. This is beautiful. This is from Kathy Bradley. Holy cow, absolutely love this. That is really, really pretty, and I love those butterflies in there. How gorgeous is that, you guys? All right, next up, I've got to open these four, so I apologize. Gosh, how rude. Oh, look at this. This is, oh, this is a swap card. That I will show you at a different date. This is a swap card. Here's not a swap card, I don't think. We do have, however, a pretty envelope with that butterfly paper. Love that. Um, look at that. Holy cow, that is so pretty. This is from Suzanne Scott. And wishing you a wonderful everything. Suzanne, thank you so much. This is beautiful. I love the stitched elements on here. Okay. Hang on, and okay, so that was it. Those were the ones I didn't open, and I thought I did. Oh my gosh, this is coming to us from Cynthia Jacobson, and I have to tell you a little story. <laughs> Isn't this gorgeous? So Molly opened up a whole bunch of my mail for me, and she opened it up, and she put the cards back in here, and then I go through and read them all and put them back in the envelope so I know who to give credit to, right? Molly says to me, after where we walked away from the cards, she goes, Granny, you have to open that one card. It is simply gorgeous. And it was made by Cynthia. And I go, Cynthia Jacobson, right? <laughs> and she goes, yeah. And I'm like, I know. She makes beautiful cards. She really does. And look at that belly band. Isn't that so pretty? This is the Nature's Prince. How gorgeous is this? have an online class with this. I still have a few left. This is such a pretty, pretty, pretty sweet. So, so pretty. Cynthia, you have quite the admirer in Molly. I just want you to know that. <laughs> Gorgeous. Okay, next up, we have, this is from Lori Callies. Lori, this is beautiful. I love the butterflies. Oops, I bent this one. I love the butterflies on here. They're really, really pretty. And Lori is actually sending me her rewards form. So this is what the rewards form looks like. And she printed it out and she added all of her information down here so that I can place her rewards order. She is in my online technique club. Very, very pretty card, Lori. Thank you so much. Next, we have Linda Keister. Look at this beauty. I love these cherries with that glitter paper. So, so pretty. Okay, so hang on. Ready? Molly was telling me about this, too. It's Velcroed. Isn't that cool? Love this, Linda. Thank you so much. How pretty is that? Now, this is one of those cards I showed you this layout. And Sarah Simon that's on my team is the one I got it from. But it sits up like this. Isn't that pretty? This little flap folds down and your card sits just like that. It's really neat. Nice job, Linda. Beautiful card. Here comes... 
Oh my gosh, this is from <laughs> this is from my friend Ruth Bingle. <laughs> this is the hippo again, you guys. Holy cow, this is so cute. This is the little easel card. Um, Barb Dina and I are going to be doing a class using the hippo set. So please watch for that. It is going to be spectacular. I can't hardly wait. This is coming to me from Joanne Prosser. Look how pretty that is. Joanne, this is gorgeous. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I like how she stamped the flowers down here. Just very faint. Just absolutely love it. Okay, we'll lay that right there. Then we have this one from Rhea Jones. Look at how pretty that is. I love this sunflower and the bee trinket. Oh, so gorgeous. Thank you, Rhea. And you are very welcome. <gasps> Look at this one. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. This is from Dawn. Dawn, your last name got torn off this envelope. Look at how pretty that is. So pretty. Thank you for the stamp set and the flowers. Oh, I bet you this is Dawn Sternwinski. Um, from Make It Monday. She won a challenge. So I have challenges for my team. Beautiful card, Dawn. I have challenges for my team that everybody who participates and makes the card for the challenge gets entered in a drawing and she won a stamp set and some embellishments. So that's pretty cool. I think this stamp set too, as a matter of fact. This one is from Dawn again. Card kit. Yay! Look how pretty that is. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Dawn, you are very welcome. Thank you so much for the beautiful card. Next we have Shella Sam's, and look at how pretty this is. <gasps> this uses the beautiful Rings of Love. I said it right for the first time ever. <gasps> Rings of Love designer series paper. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, and she won a prize. Yay! You're welcome. Thank you for the beautiful card. That was a swap card. I will share these swap cards with you, but I don't do it um, until I'm ready. Like when I'm showing, making something with those cards. That's when I show you my swap cards. Okay, so this is from Tracy Baysmore. And she is actually thanking us. It says, thank you for everything you do with Stamp Happy Academy. And I'm going to show you this card. She joined the swap from our last catalog kickoff event. This is her swap card. This is Tracy's swap card. Look at how incredibly beautiful that is. So everybody who joined the swap, I shouldn't say everybody, um, it depends on how Dina swaps it out. But when you when you join a swap, you get these cards. And this is Tracy's card. And she sent that with um, her business card. And Tracy, I did not know you were a lieutenant <laughs> with the sheriff's office. Um, she sent me this little badge. Whoops, I can't. Let me, let me wreck it before I can get it out of here. Well, I'm just going to leave it in there. She sent me this little... Um, this badge and she said encloses a little gift from me they are called they are collector items for people in law enforcement i give them to people who inspire me and help me grow as a person oh, can you believe that tracy i am honored i am so honored your card is absolutely gorgeous this is the coolest thing ever thank you so much thank you so much for being so very thoughtful Next up, we have Susan Hine. Look at this pretty card that she made with those waves. Didn't you just love the waves? Isn't that so pretty? You can just write all over in here. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. She said she made eight of these. Okay, next up, I have... Oh, this is a pretty one too. Hang on. This is from Karen Goltz. And she's thanking me for the card kit. I sent out um, a whole bunch of card kits to my team. They met a challenge and their their prize or reward, I should say. It wasn't a prize because they, they did something for it. Their reward was a card kit. And this is from Karen Gold saying thank you for that card kit. You are so welcome. I love your card. It's beautiful. 
then let me see this is from that's another swap card oh I had lunch with Melanie Foy this week and Melanie is from Arizona but she also happens to have a cottage up in Wisconsin um, north of me and look at this this is watercolored she watercolored this yeah and I said what are you sure <laughs> And she's like, yes, I'm sure. So it was wonderful having um, lunch with Melanie. And she gave me this card. And I'm just in awe of her mad water coloring skills, right? Also, she gave me a birthday card. Look how cute this is. Yay! Love it. She also made me this little, like, french fry pouch. Isn't this cute? And you put a packet of hot chocolate in it. And I think we're probably going to make some of these because I think this is adorable. I'm going to put that over my pile of things I need to make. And then, hang on, because I think there... Oh, there's another thing from her. Here's a little bit smaller. And this holds a little bit of um, a little packet of tea. And isn't that sweet? And look at that little silver spoon. Super cute, right? I know. I thought they were super neat. All right, I have one more thing to share with you. This is from Linda Gilbert. Linda is my friend from Coon Rapids, Minnesota. Linda sent me this gorgeous, gorgeous card. So let me take a look at it. Look at this. Ready? <gasps> look at this. This is called a double Dutch fold, I believe. Isn't that cool? And Linda sent along some harvest dyes and she explained that um she wanted to she she double ordered it i think by accident and she wanted to send this as a token of her appreciation um she misordered it yep and she said i can share it with others so i will definitely be giving this away as a door prize these are the dies, I believe, used with the card that. Oh, these are the harvest dies. Oh my gosh, these are these are some of my favorites. Absolutely gorgeous. So there's one, two, three, four dies in here that you don't even need the stamp set for, and then this one goes with the stamp set. But you could use this as a silhouette too. Isn't that cool? So she ordered these by accident, and she decided to send them off to me. And I will be giving these away as a gift. Somebody's going to be a very lucky recipient of these dies. So yay, Linda. Thank you so much. That was just incredibly generous of you. And I we appreciate it. Okay, you guys. I think that about does it for tonight. I'm going to pull you out of here. I'm going to... Oh, look, it's me again. <laughs> I still have my crown on. It didn't try to fall off. Sometimes I take it off when I turn the camera around because it falls off or it starts sliding down my head. And you guys know I have enough problems. <laughs> Melanie, you're on here. Yay. Yeah, it was really nice to go to lunch with Melanie. So thank you. I'm so glad that you thought of me when you were coming through. And uh, we had a very nice lunch at the Outpost. <gasps> they have good food too. Does anybody have any questions for me that I might have missed when I had the phone, my camera turned around? Um, I will be. Don't forget to go check out my blog at 9 o'clock tonight. Oh, I have low power. In 15 more minutes. Sorry I kept you guys so long, but I missed you. Um, in 15 minutes, I do have a blog hop going live. Do you guys want to see a little sneak peek? Yeah. I'll be sharing with you how to make Christmas Scotty cards. Yeah, so check that out. There's a video tutorial. Um, who wanted to know where do I order? Uh, hang on, I'm looking. Where did your comment go? Oh, there it is. Deborah Madden. Okay, you're going to go to www.astampabove.com. And when you get to my blog, you're going to find ordering buttons all over the place. 
and you can just go to my online store or you can go to stampinup.com and you can search for me as your demonstrator, Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, Atchison, A-C-H-E-S-O-N. I'm in Menasha, Wisconsin. It's actually easier though to go to my blog. Just make sure you see my name in the top left corner when you get to the online store. And let me know if you have any questions about ordering because I certainly do appreciate your orders. That It really is. This is my full-time job, so that's how I pay my bills and get to go um, with Molly and Anna tomorrow on a girl's trip, right? So I've got a lot of work to do tonight before I can do that. I've got to get all my bingo packets labeled up. Um, I had help with those. Kathy helped me. So they're all ready to get labels on them and go out for the mailman tomorrow. I did throw some clothes in a pile so that I'm kind of packed. <laughs> I have a last minute Nelly on everything, you guys. So um, bingo packets will be going out in the mail. The Scotty Christmas Scotty kit will also go out in the mail um, probably Wednesday or Thursday this week. I promised it, I believe, this week. And I also have the Season of Chic class that will be out in the mail the week of, uh, I said 828, I believe. So, kit out 828. So, um, yeah. So, all the dates. I've been meeting all the dates. That's the important part, right? I don't want to get behind. Ugh. I hate that when I'm, I'm scrambling. I don't like to scramble. I, I do stuff last minute, but... I don't consider that scrambling. That's when I do my best work. <laughs> I work good under pressure. <laughs> yeah, um, maybe I'll get to share some pictures with you guys while we're on our little girls trip to Michigan. I'm hoping that maybe we can do that. I can do that. Um, lots of times when I go someplace with the kids or grandkids, um, I try to stay off of social media because I spend so much time on it that I can get sucked in, like down that rabbit hole again, right? Um, yeah, Connie is saying have fun in the UP. Um, Connie lives in the UP. We went out to visit her a couple of years ago, and that was fabulous. Or maybe it was just a year ago. Was it really just a year ago? I don't know. Anyways, it was really fun. But um, I try not to get sucked down that rabbit hole because the minute I pick up a device, then you, oh, there's like a whole bunch of things coming at you, and you, oh, I got to do that, and oh, I need to answer that, and uh it's like, nope, I need to be off. I need to have full concentration with the kids and the grandkids. So it's kind of a thing for me that I'm starting to get better about because, you know, social media can really rule our world. <laughs> I'm talking to you as you're watching me on social media. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Polly says she'd love to see pictures of our trip. Well, I'll see what I could do. Um, Haley actually posted pictures of our camping trip because she's like, Mom, you should really post some pictures of our camping trip on your business page. And I'm like, I know, Haley, but like there's only so many hours in the day. And that's another thing that takes time to go through those pictures and which ones you're going to post. And so yesterday on our way home from up north, she did it. So you can thank her for those pictures. And I was grateful. I was driving. She was sitting there. So boom. Perfect. All right. I'm going to stop rambling. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. I am so happy to spend my Sunday evenings with you. Thank you for the well wishes for our trip tomorrow. I'm excited because I don't know what we're doing. I packed long pants because we're going to the UP. Steve goes, you know, it could snow. <laughs> and it really could. <laughs> it's cold up there. So um, I've got my tennis shoes and I've got socks and I've got t-shirts and sweatshirts. I'm refusing to bring a coat. Maybe I should. It might snow. No, I hope not. <laughs> Anyways, it'll be fun. All right, you guys, have yourselves a wonderful week. I will be back again next. Oh, I'm, am I live? I'm live on Thursday for Stamp Happy Academy. I have a live class on Thursday the 18th, so I will be live then if you are a premium or live only member. And I will be live again on the 21st, 7 p.m. Central Time. Looking forward to seeing you all again. Have a great week. Bye-bye.